Hi everyone, it's Serica and it's my first time talking directly to you guys. I've shown my face a few times before, but I didn't really have the audio equipment to really talk directly into my camera. So now that I have this nice lavalier mic, I can do that. Let's get right into it. So the first page is the monthly calendar at the beginning of the journal. We've got all of the different highlights that I have in June. If you've been watching my other Hobonichi flip throughs, you'll know that I write like one thing down per day. And this is really helpful if you're missing a few days in your daily pages and you don't really remember what was going on. You can always refer back to this page and write about that significant thing if you don't have anything else to write about. I went with kind of a um, reddish theme and I used a lot of different supplies that I got from Daiso, which I'll talk about in a little bit. I put an envelope on here because I didn't really know what else to put, but there's nothing inside. So sometimes I just like to collage things um, on pages where I don't know what to really write about. I'll just go ahead and stick an envelope on there, stickers, whatever. You'll see a bunch of that in these pages ahead. I used these stickers from Sticky Kit. I did a review on them before and I just love these little Einstein and Sir Isaac Newton stickers. This page here I wrote a lot about trying to find your artistic style. So when I first started posting my journal and some of my art on um, social media, this was probably in September of last year, I started to get really self-conscious about being consistent with my theme and even my color schemes and things like that. I was worried about whether or not my artistic style was more vintage or was it more cute and minimalistic. This is just me kind of thinking through, you know, why does that even matter? A lot of artists that are producing work, yeah, they might have a style, but they've also experimented with a lot of different things in order to get there. And so I kind of just wrote here, you know, do whatever you want. Maybe you'll post something that's a little different, but whatever. It's all about art. It's all about experimenting and having fun. And so that was just me kind of giving a pep talk to myself. This next page here is a visual list of some of the art supplies that I want to bring to um, California or that I brought with me to California. And I tend to overpack with art supplies and then underpack with my clothes. So I wanted to be sure to bring just the bare minimum with art supplies, cause I know that I'll bring all this stuff and then not really have enough time to do anything like full fledged. This next page here, I was musing a little bit about creativity and how I always feel like I can never catch up. Um, I don't know about you, but I feel like when you're constantly looking at social media and seeing everybody produce things on a daily basis, it kind of gets overwhelming. But I wanted to kind of remind myself that creativity is a marathon and not a sprint. And maybe it's not even like a marathon because the way I think about it is you don't really ever finish being creative, right? You're not like, oh, I made all the things that I wanted to make. My artistic journey is donezo. You know, I've, I'm done creating for the rest of my life, that's it. I think you have certain milestones that you want to hit, but you're not really kind of working toward a finish line, if that makes sense. For me, you know, for some artists that might be the case, they want to, you know, have a certain amount of shows or whatever. But for me, I kind of just want to live my whole life creatively and I just want to make every day so that I can enjoy that process. And so I was trying to think through my feelings of not being able to catch up and remind myself, it's okay. You know, just keep on doing your thing. This next page here, I said before, I just like to collage things when I don't have anything to write about. And so that's what I did with this little Merlot tag and some stickers and papers here. And then this next page, I was just writing about things that happened that day. I think I went to the farmer's market, met up with a friend for lunch, and it was just altogether a very pleasant day. Sometimes when I'm too busy, and the day is kind of monotonous, I won't write anything about that day. But today I just really wanted to write about how busy I was and that's basically what this page is. And then this other page, I was just writing about how many errands I had. So kind of not really a lot going on that on these pages. This next page is dedicated to my Hogwarts house, which is Gryffindor. And um, I just wanted to kind of think about, you know, whether or not I wanted to read a new book or just reread Harry Potter again. So it's kind of funny how many people said that they would prefer to read Harry Potter. 
I really couldn't muster up the energy to write anything on this day, so I just wrote that I am so tired. Yeah, halfway through June, I was really feeling the pressure of taking on too many projects, commissions, and having deadlines, and so I just decided, you know what, I'm not even gonna pretend that I had the energy to do it. I'm just gonna write, I am so tired. And even if you only write one sentence or one word, I feel like that still counts. You still commemorated the day with something. So I did it. <laughs> um, this next page is this little, kind of like a poem, kind of not. It's called Make Bad Art. And I just wanted to write, even if you don't feel like making art and you, everything you do is going to inevitably be bad art, it's gonna be crap, doesn't matter. Like write it, draw it, paint it, get that bad art out of your system and do it because it's fun and do it because you don't care if it's bad art or not because bad art is art and even good art could be portrayed as bad art or it could be skewed to be bad art so it doesn't matter just make art this next page is just a mess i was kind of talking about how time is flying by just feeling the pressure again i kind of feel that way all the time whenever there's like a lot going on with traveling and things kind of skewing me out of my routine and so i was just kind of trying to process through those um, anxious feelings on these pages the next day was um, a little excursion I took with my friend Anna. We went to Independent Brewing Company and I just wanted to take her out for her birthday, which was the week before. This page is dedicated to my dad, so huge props goes to him for getting me into vintage stuff, getting me into calligraphy. He is super talented, way better than me at calligraphy, and he does Chinese brush calligraphy as well. My dad is just super awesome and super cool, and he's actually where I get a lot of my like weird dry humor from. Father's Day, I couldn't spend it with my dad, but I decided to dedicate this spread to him after I gave him a phone call. So yeah, that's my dad. This next page, I just don't, I don't know what I, oh, it was Monday, it was Monday. And I didn't really know what to write. Nothing was happening. It was just super boring, especially after all the fun stuff that had happened that weekend. I don't know about you, maybe this is like an extrovert problem, but after the weekend is over and I'm done with all my social activities, I get real sad because it's like, oh, I had so much fun like hanging out with people and connecting with people and now I'm alone. <laughs> so I usually get pretty down in the beginning of the week. Um, when I have to be alone, but then I sort of get used to it by the middle of the week. So in the beginning of the week, I just didn't have anything to write and I thought, ugh, everything's so monotonous and boring. So I just stamped out this page intentionally left blank, which you'll see in a lot of standardized test booklets and things like that. This next page, I just wrote, maybe I should stop biting off more than I can chew, figuratively and literally. <laughs> and that's all I had for that page, Tuesdays. Oh, this is where it gets good. So finally, we have some stuff going on. I went to California with my husband to go to a family reunion. So a lot of his relatives live in California and I finally got to meet them for the first time ever. It was awesome. The first day we got there and we had some ramen. We were just super tired, just trying to get to our hotel. And then the next day we went to visit Sam's grandparents' grave and we went to Din Tai Fung, which is like this awesome Taiwanese restaurant with soup dumplings and like all this amazing dim sum. And we just got every single soup dumpling that we could. It was my first time going to a Michelin star restaurant and it was phenomenal. Then we went to the Boiling Crab because I just wanted to go to places that, you know, I couldn't really get in Pittsburgh. It was really good. We got like super spicy crab legs and stuff. I'm really hungry right now. <laughs> this is bad. The day after that was the first day of the reunion. So we started off learning about Sam's family legacy and his family goes like all the way back to the 1800s. Like they have all these records, which is amazing. We did worship because everybody's Christian um, or mostly everyone was Christian there. And we also did some sharing. It was really awesome. I'm an oversharer, so that was like right up my alley. <laughs> And then we also had a little break. So I went to Daiso with some people. We got some stationery, some snacks. I wish we had a Daiso in Pittsburgh. Like, come on, Pittsburgh. It was so great. I got some of these um, sushi stamp washi tapes. It's just like all these things that were so affordable and so cute. Ah, oh, I need the Daiso in my life. And then the day after that, 
me being like the amateur photographer, I was assigned the task of taking family photos. I was really nervous because I was like, oh no, what if the focus isn't right? Or like this and that, the lighting, I was just freaking out, but it was so fun. All the kids were running around and they were just like hard to wrangle. <laughs> it was like hilarious. Sam and I had a really late night flight, so we had an, kind of an extra day. We went to the beach and I collected a lot of rocks because I need paperweights, so I did that. I just love collecting random stuff at the beach. And then we also found tacos because I just wanted to get tacos so bad. We took a red eye flight. It was rough. Even though it's only a three hour time difference, I just, it was just rough. I don't know, something about my body, it just cannot handle traveling. So I felt really sick for a couple days afterwards. Yeah, that's why I didn't really write anything. I just decided to do some hand lettering on this page. And that was a verse that was really emphasized during the family reunion and so it was on my mind and I just decided to use that as um, some lettering practice and to reflect a little bit. The next page I wrote about this awesome conversation I had with my friend. A lot of my friends are really far away and so I try to make sure to reach out to them and keep in touch with people. This page I was just really frantically trying to get ready for the next trip. So I barely had like half a week to recover from being sick and also like catch up on work before I was going to my really good friend's bachelorette party. So we went to an island. That's all I'm really going to say about this bachelorette was that it was fun and that it was just a lot. And <laughs> I think she had a really good time. I'm just going to keep it vague because, you know, it was bachelorette little photo of us there. We actually left on July 1st, but on the page for June 30th, I wanted to keep my tradition of doing monthly affirmations on that last page. So of course, um, if you don't know what those are, I do one little sheet of affirmations, kind of patting myself on the back for some of the accomplishments that I had achieved during the month. Yeah, I already started with my July pages, which is good. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.